Grab your drinks. It is time to put the world away. Welcome to my Kelty Hearts playthrough save journey. Trying to reach the best, the biggest heart in the world, right? The best team in the world. Anyway, okay, enough clowning around. <laughs> Let's, uh, what is it? Just past the January transfer window. So what has gone on here? Well, Boateng, I think you guys knew he, he wanted to leave and, uh, and he's gone. Crew picked him up for 47,000, possibly to go up to 98,000. So there goes one of our playmakers. He just, you know, I gave him a chance, gave him a chance. Um, it just, it just wasn't, I wasn't using him enough anyway, eight appearance and he was kind of getting a little bit great beyond that, but um, I was expecting bigger things from him. I mean, to be fair, you know, it's over, he's over average, but I expect more than average on my team. Anyway, he's on crew. Um, he's playing well so far there in League One. So I wish him the best. Boateng has moved on and we got some money. Loaned out that youngster. I was given, I was trying to get some game time too. Did I, did I give him some game time? A couple appearances, played him in the cup. He did well in the cups. But New England and the MLS wanted them on loan. So there he goes. Hasn't played yet. There, has he? Nope. So Thomas Kern, hopefully he develops over there. A free, because I wasn't paying attention. Young goalkeeper is only 18, has gobs of potential, according to my scouts and St. Johnstone picked him up. So that was my bad. I should have probably signed him a better. He was, he was just on a youth uh, contract. I should have kept him, but I didn't. So pay attention to the youngsters guys you got and some bigger teams are going to swoop them up. You know, premiership team here. So lost him. And then you knew Scott Martin was kind of he said, I want to move on. He wants more game time. So St. Marin came in. Our rival here right now in the champions for 23,000. So there goes one of our playmakers. And then one of our like ball, I've been using him as was using it as a ball. Winning midfielder, box to box, mostly as a ball winning because he has that 17 positioning. You know, he did, eh. He was okay for us. Just over average. Just wasn't using him enough again. Same kind of same scenario with Boateng. But hey, we got a, had him on a free and we made a little bit of money on him. Same with Boateng. So there goes a couple of our midfielders. And then I might have should have kept this guy around Connor Allen, one of our playmakers, loaned him out to uh, Arbroth, and they're paying a little bit of money for him. He's in League One, so hopefully he'll do. Get some development there. So there's our outs. Our ins. I think I showed you guys this guy. I was excited. Look at that. We spent some money. We spent money. I don't know how the board let me. Because we're like negative. What are we? Three, 300,000 in the hole? Yeah, 300,000. We've been winning a couple cup matches. And we had some in the transfer budget. And we're, we still had... Um, you know, we still can spend 5000 or so here on wage budget. So they let me adjust it, and I was able to sign this player. 40000 from Hearts. Duncan Kerr. We can see all his attributes now. Check him out. Only 18 years old. Physically gifted. Hopefully that stamina will go up a little bit. But again, 18 years old. Advance forward. So there we go. Hopefully our future striker. Just had a good uh, cup match. I'll show you guys. He did well. So there you go. Duncan Kerr. All right. What do they say about a media description striker? Unflappable media, hand, media handling. So there we go. His history there is with hearts. Played a couple times there in the premiership. All right. So hopefully big things for him. Um, and... <laughs> I misclicked when you left in the transfer window because the, the, the coach there from Aberdeen saying, hey, you're not playing him enough. 
and I meant to click, okay, we'll start playing them some more, but I said, okay, you can have them back at the transfer one, and they did, and then I loaned them back, but unfortunately, now, I'm gonna bankrupt the club here. I'm paying 10,000 monthly costs. I just couldn't find another a left back. So yeah, this is, this is pretty big money for us. So a total of 40,000 for like four months left, right? Four, four months, four times 10 is 40,000, the end of the season. So we got Wayne back, but now Aberdeen's like, hey, with all that craziness there, you wanted us, you wanted them, we wanted back, now you want them back again. So now you're gonna pay us some money if you want them back. And I'm the sucker, I did, because I misclicked. So watch your clicking. Ah, oh, anyway, he's he's back here. Physically, he's a beast. So, and then I found a free. So I needed a midfielder because you guys know Scott Martin left was a ball winning and Boateng, Vance playmaker. I think I got enough people now to be a, a playmakers. But I, so I wanted someone like a box to box or ball winning. And we're like I said, I didn't want to spend any more money. I was looking for a free because we're negative three hundred in the hole. So I found this guy. Got him on trial, and I, I kind of like his attributes. So here he is, Kofi Balmer, Northern Irish player, 24-year-old. He's come from, he was in Northern Ireland here for a few years with Larne, actually his whole career so far. He's in Northern Ireland and doing kicking butt there with this team Larne, 7.6, you can see it. And he's played already two appearances for me and he's done well. But here's his attributes. Um, yeah, he's best as a central defender, but I'm going to... He's semi-green there. So I'm going to keep playing here my, the two appearances as a ball-winning defender. Um, tackling, positioning, which was a little bit better. But look at that. Mentals, not bad. All up in here. They're all green almost a little bit. Pace is a little slower than I like, but... I think you will do a good job. He's reasonable with at least full feet, very strong. So there you go. There's my replacement, the best I could find for a free. And he's on what? 575? No, 375. So I got him for a year. Squad player at green time. So there you go. So that's it. Just three guys. Um, so here's the squad. I'll show you the squad depth here. So we got Jay High, got Kerr now. Um, so we, I think we got some depth there in strikers. Who's this guy? I got somebody on trial here. Ben Williamson. Yeah, he's already he's leaving on a free the end of the year. So I'm trying to put him on trial. He's only 23 years old. We'll see. Maybe Ooh, the vision's not so hot. He's supposed to be a playmaker. Another ball winning. We'll see what his tackling is. We'll, we'll see what happens. Now he's with Rangers, and they're not up in his contract. So, got him on trial. So, possibly another midfielder there. Um, I think we've got a good group there. We can take out this loaner, or trialist guy. And uh, then I cannot, could not, my scouts cannot find me a goalkeeper. I mean, there were some goalkeepers I had on trial, but nothing. It was just like a parallel move. Nothing that was better than three stars. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to stay with Townsend and stay with Jaycock. There was a team that actually came in for Jaycock. Was it, I think it was a premiership team, and I rejected it, and I'm glad he didn't whine. Was, he said he'll, he's happy to stay here. Actually, I think he did whine. You know what? You're right. I, he did whine. He goes, why? I want to leave to the bigger club. And I told the captain... Can you please talk to him? And then the captain talked to him and resolved the issue. He's now happy to stay here. So um, Aware has been doing great there. And that's the other big news is he, where's the promises? Promises, promises. Aware, he put in his trance, unhappy. Show no interest of selling him. He wants to leave. That he's not getting enough game time. Requested right there, transfer listed. I mean, we have what? How many? How many matches? We played twenty-two matches. Oh, you weren't supposed to look. We're at the top. Twenty-two matches, and he's played fourteen. 
he's the captain. You have to agree playing time is important player, so expect to play many matches as possible. So he wasn't happy, so he's he's gonna be gone. I have him actually for another year, but at the end of the year I'll probably try to get rid of him since he wants to go. But he's still kicking butt here for us, even though he's only two and a half star. Don't always go by the stars. If, like I say, if they're performing, they're getting the results. I mean, look at this, 7.41. He's actually, does he have enough appearances? He does. Still, top three guys there in average rating. Got the top goal scorer. Two out of the three top assists. And that equals, after 22 played, 44 points. We're at the top, guys. At the top. Um, shh. I hate to say this word, injuries. But right now, we have a clean... Yeah, we have a clean team. Nobody's on injuries. Um, so, okay, here we go. I'll show you guys the outs. We have a couple guys... Cox is going to Ross County. I didn't up his his um, contract, so he's leaving at the end of the year here, going to Ross County. And he's still quality. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, he's gone now. I can't do anything. And then Sabara, I wanted to sign him, but he wanted like two two point three thousand per week, and I was I couldn't do it. So. He's going to crew. So I got two players going to crew. So I was going to crew. And there was another player that went to crew. Who was it? Am I smoking something funny? Yeah, Botang went to crew. All right. So that leaves us 300000 in the hole. Still got 5000 on the wage budget. But we got no more scouting budget here. Look at that. Um scouted no scouting package because we don't have any money here i can usually you can transfer some over i got four thousand and some in a transfer but if i move it all over it still doesn't it still gives me a negative scouting budget so we're we've exhausted all that until next year um yeah i just go by what what is what's scouted what am i looking for here i was looking for some full backs here but expired players. Um, let's, let's see. At least a C. At least a C <laughs> expired. That's it. That's the only players. This guy didn't look too bad. Swiss. His physicals are kind of. But she probably would have dominated. I probably should have signed him. Technically gifted. Mentally. 33 year old. Got that experience. Did I try to sign him? I think I tried. And in, in the country, he wanted too much, I think. Looks like Philly's got him. Admir Mehmeti. So, anyway. We got to do what we can. Ha what we have. I think we got a decent team. So, let me take off these. Uh, wait, who do I have on trial here? I have oh, that what I showed you guys Ben looks pretty good so far we'll see a defender possibly possibly yeah, as his the contract expires Darren Arbroth hasn't renewed it so maybe a defender here if uh, aware is aware is gonna be leaving and then who's this old guy 31 year old right back eh I'll just terminate him. I don't see it. All right. So let's kick off the match. We got one match today. Is there any big, any, any news? Yeah, I have no money. So I haven't upgraded any facilities. Uh, no coaching badges still for me. I'm still my professional. So it's still Continental A. I got two and a half star. Reputation is still 45%, whatever that is. I still do three times as good <laughs> signing young players for first team squad times three and young players of the future. Um, development, 18 year olds. I've been arranging a bunch of friendly just to keep some match fit. Oh, I do have, what's this? Poor intake every year. Yeah, you guys know that. Okay, we have possibly 
poor, it's always poor intake because our facilities stink. We might luck, maybe it's probably like a 0.001%. We might get some phenomenal player with our facilities, but we got somebody. We, we have what looks like a top prospect in center midfield, an A. So we'll see here, what, a couple months, what we get. Um, oh, that was the big thing, too. Um, so this doesn't show. Okay, it, it shows, you know, I did three transfers in, but I recalled a guy. Loan, would that be loan deals coming back in? Oh, how, how would that show that? It's probably a, a, a way. Free. No, anyway, I, I went here, looked at the loan deals, and I seen this guy, which we loaned out, and he was kicking butt down there. Todd Miller, welcome back. And he's developing really well, even for a, we're on semi-professional part timer, but he was kicking butt for a year. Um, air seven point two nine in League One. I recall them back, and Air is sitting what they're sitting first. Oh, third now. They're right up there. But Todd Miller, you can see that their player uh, average rating the second best in the league, and he had the second most assists here. So I, I heard them, but hey, I wanted another. Um, I wanted another winger. And uh, he's not even showing up here. Where's he at? There he is. I thought we can use him. I like it because he's very strong left foot and, or fairly strong left foot and very strong right. So real versatile up here. Uh, I thought, I thought we that would come in handy. Um. Because Leko, I mean, I really don't have, I mean, Todd Miller, I mean, I could play Jay High over here, Connor Smith, I guess. I guess I do, I guess I do have a pretty versatile group of players. Um, he's played pretty well out there. Never played Jay High over there. Um, the new striker, Kerr, <laughs> he could, was a winger. Very strong right foot, nine crossing. He probably could do a job out there. Anyway, I called Todd Miller back just to give us some more depth. Um, because if I go like this, it says Todd Miller now Zanzala. But that's all my assistant manager says. That's all we, oh, I guess I got all these top players up here can play over there. Zanzala's been out for like, couple weeks on international duty man he had so many international games congo got 19 caps four goals so welcome back zanzala there and uh yeah that's it so todd miller's in there as well so we basically we had four guys in here in the transfer window um yeah, three, and then, then the loan recalling. So remember that. Remember, you guys, that you know, especially if you're hurting for money, like, hey, what players do I have it on loan? And this guy, you know, like I said, almost two and a half, three-star potential here. But his current ability is already a three-star. So he's right there with everybody. And I like that. He's progressing really well, developing. Um, all right, so let's get going. Enough talking. Um, and the captain, I just hate that. The captain's out, but he's whining and, um, got Bucks even on the, I don't have any captains playing right now. I got Bucks, this Mr. Unhappy, he's happy now, <laughs> Daniel Bucks. Um, he actually can play over here. I played him a few times. He's got a red dot, but very strong right footed. Um, yeah, I like that. All these, almost, almost all my top players can just play anywhere up here. Um, the Watson, do I start Watson there? Yeah, because he's losing a little bit of sharpness. I like that rotation, right? Everyone looks pretty good. Roland's the only one in my top players here, and the subs are, are not green, right? Wayne is maintaining. 
but he's the only orange guy losing sharpness. So important to keep them guys rotated, right? And let's go. Oh, wait, I got to show you guys the matches, right? <laughs> uh, last time I showed you guys, last video was Killer Renock, where they showed up and they beat us, shut us out. And then we beat Dunfermline. So in January, look at that. Green dots all in January. Home against Ross County, three to two. Let go had two and Jay High. Started Jay Cock and goal. Um, yeah, Mackie had a shocking game, 6.3. Um, then St. Mir in the top of the table, I think still at that time. 4-1 at home. Let go. Jay High had two. And Daniel Bucks, Mr. and Okay, we'll, we'll stop calling him Mr. Unhappy now, but Bucks, Bucksy, Bucks. Can't get easier than that for a name, right? Daniel Bucks, 85. He scored in the 85th minute. So there we go. And then we went away to Queen of South. Uh, one nothing, 93rd minute. <laughs> Timmy came in and got that header. It was a cross from... Uh, Oh, I can't remember now. I think Baron, actually. Yeah, he came in and got the last minute corner. And then Odoo got his head to it and got a win there, baby. In a way, yeah, a year is sitting. We, we just stole their one of their best. We stole their best player. Todd Miller called them back on loan for our team, right? And then we played away. So they're sitting in the championship, but they're a decent team. Um, but they had a guy sent off in the 88, but we still had it handily won. Leko scored the 14th. Uh, Jay High, a penalty on the 60th. Daniel Kerr. There you go, guys. There's the youngster. He actually scored the 67th and the 95th. We had two late. Daniel Bucks, 92nd, and Mr. Daniel Kerr, or Duncan Kerr. Um, 95th. So there you go. The youngster that I signed is already making that $40,000, 40,000 pounds, excuse me, that I spent on him worthwhile. So looking good. And we need that money. So we're going to go to the fifth round. We did, and we drew Queen of South, which is in our, which they're not playing too hot, are they? Yeah, they're set eight. So hopefully we can progress there on that Scottish tap. Get some more money, money, money. We need it. So let's go. We have the one match today against Wraith Away. The past meetings. Okay, so statistic. We've only lost one time out of nine. We've played them. So if you're a betting person, we'll probably lose. <laughs> Away, let's go. Here's the team. Do I have the team set? Jaycock, Watson, O'Connor, Odoo. I guess I like players in the, my defense with O for their last name. O'Connor, Odoo, right? It was O'Ware. All right, Mackey. So we got some of our, we got Wayne is sitting on the bench. We got Bomber, the new signing. Got Maris doing really well. What, what does he have? 13 assists <laughs> out of 20 appearances, so. Awesome. Let go Smith. Jay High now. Hmm. This was a debate here, but we're going to try him here as an inside forward. I know why the top goal scorer right now here. 19. I'm putting him out as an inside forward. And the new signee, Kerr, I'm starting up top. We'll see how things go. See my bench. I got fullbacks. I got. Mr. Bucks, winger, Sabara attacking, Roland defense, Todd Miller winger. So, man, it looked like I was short wingers, but now I look at it, it looks like I got a bunch of wingers. So, hopefully Todd Miller is happy to be back. I mean, he's got green arrows. He's not going to be playing as much as he did in air, but we'll see. And then Baron midfielder. And he, man, he's doing well he's down to two stars current he's got some attention but check out this check all these assists he has 10 
So, got a good bench. Is that what I want to do? Let's go. Oh, wait. Yep, let's do it. I was going to show you the dynamics, but I want to show you all the things and we can show you after the match, which I'll probably forget the dynamics, but the dynamics is looking good. Take my word for it. Um, let's hands together. Um, all the best out there. Motivated Todd Miller and motivated Vollmer. So the new guy is back on the team. But... All right, we're, we're the only semi-professional, I'll remind you guys, the only semi-professional team here in this league, the championship, sitting top. <laughs> Just right when I said that, St. Mary must have scored. They did. We're sitting second. <laughs> Let's go, Kelty Hearts. We go first highlight 30 second minute you know three to four players in a transfer window that's probably my my advice to you guys to not you know totally mess up the chemistry and unless it's already messed up in your locker room the chemistry is already why not just keep you know reset and buy a whole bunch of players but our chemistry was already awesome. I didn't want to disrupt it too much. So three, four players out at the most. And Kerr got his foot to, oh, he hustles up. But he had a second chance there because Thomas Thompson, their goalkeeper kind of was fumbling it. But uh, Kerr couldn't find the back of the net there. There's a uh, header from O'Connor, but it flew high. So we got six, we got eight shots. Okay, let's go Jaycock. Yeah, I'm still looking for, uh, always looking, always looking for players, right? Goalkeeper. There's a through ball from let go to Kerr. Let's go, Kerr. Oh, he's flying over. I was hoping he's, you know, he's, his spirits were high. He scored two goals there and gets a cup against air. And nil, nil. All right. Stats were looking good. Um, we've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you're doing. He's got a 7.2, even though he's, he's missed the gobs here that we've seen. There's a nice cross. Oh, what a, Jay High. Oh man, this goalkeeper is just lightning speed <laughs> reflexes. Of course he is, right? Against us. Wow. That was <laughs> pretty impressive. Maris, Jay High. Side forward. He used to play that a lot, though, right? In the first couple years we had him. Jay High, and he did really well when we had Nathan Austin up top. There's out Leko taking a wide. Beats his man. He's going to cross it in. He's going to dribble up. No, no penalty. Watson, okay, we got some hustlers, but then we lose it right back. 49th minute. I'm looking at Jay High. Yeah, only a 6.5. Speaking of, he guys over top. What finds Kerr? Finds Kerr. Mmm, Jay High probably would have made that, he's saying. This... The youngster, huh? Kind of 7.2. Um, let's do uh, Maris. 6.6, .6, huh? Let's put in... Oh, uh, so... Sabara, I've got all these other motivated players. We've got these motivated players in here. 6.6. .6. Baron, he's just doing well with his uh, the set pieces and stuff. Um, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll plug him there. And Bucks here. Maris. I'm going to keep Maris in. We got Balmer. Yep. We'll put in Sabara. I'm going to switch it around. Put, I'm going to put Baron there. Box to box. 
and then I know guys think long think wrong here can can JI play there let's do, let's do that let's try him as a shadow striker which I hardly ever play and we'll put box over here since we're dominating we're up there we need some help up top inside four do I let's do inverted winger attack with box let's try this I mean we're out 15 they got none on target we got to keep I should have actually pushed the defensive line maybe up top let's see what happens bucks from Mackey to bucks Buxy bucks I say bucks Kerr there he finds bucks okay he needs help though nobody's in the box back to Mackey tries around Mc McDonough Donahue or Dona Maris trying to find it through. Oh, there's Kerr. Let's go, Kerr. There he is, Duncan Kerr. Nice to see the new signee score right away, right, guys? Yep, we've seen him miss a few <laughs> a few shots there, but there you go. Stay with them. Say, stay with them. I got faith in you. Nice. I mean, a nice pass. That helps out too. Laid it right there on the plate for him. There you go, Kerr. Okay, another highlight right away. 62nd minute. Got one more sub. There's a nice long ball there. Uh-oh, that, that's ugly. Was he on sides? No, I didn't think so. I think O'Connor just kind of whipped that up. But yeah, it's not not by much. Whoa, Leko's hurt probably. I mean, look at that. Is he? See? I know I mentioned this a few times, and it must be related to this skin, but I wish you would show me back on, on this screen. It would be a, you know, a cross there, or say an injury symbol, because there he's injured. Potential thought. Let's take him out. We'll put Mr. Miller in. It's Miller time, baby. Miller time. So do I want to use him as a winger? And this is where you could probably look at the, the game stats. I mean, are they playing? Are, are we having space out there on the outside? So the winger would be, or are they vulnerable to a, a player kind of coming in? Inverted winger. That long shot's three. Let's try him as a uh, let's try him as a winger out there instead of inverted winger. Okay, yeah, that's what I got him. Attack though, six finishing. Let's let's do him as a, a support. Let's see. I mean, I don't even see. I just kind of put him in there for their best position. You could look and see what they're playing, what the opposite. I don't even know what they're what their formation is what are they playing so they got the four four one four one kind of dealy and you can play it on now uh, i have key attribute or key highlights you can kind of move it down and kind of get a better gist for the game and saying hey maybe they're left their left back's kind of inside. So, yeah, we got plenty of room. Might as well put him as a winger. And game is going to go out. Is it, are we going to hold? Are we going to hold the 1-0 one, one lead? We do one nothing. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's a W. There you go. We're sitting top. St. Mary must have. Yep, they kicked butt. And Dundee kick butt. Yeah, okay, so it's like a three starting to look at right three horse race here. All right, guys. Uh oh, one to two days. Woo! And we've been getting lucky. Been getting like great defense. Eight point five outstanding defense, my friend. And five straight wins, guy. Okay, where are we gonna finish? Not getting too excited, but uh. 
coming down to the home stretch. So I'll probably, if we get past this fifth round, I'll show you guys the Scottish Cup. I'm going to finish up February. We'll come back here. Maybe the semi-professional, or semi the semi-final here in this Trust Trophy and kill them enough. We got to get revenge because they beat us last time, right, away. So we're at home here. There we go. We'll come back to this. Start of March. We probably still won't have our youth intake. But, um, and I always get excited about that, even though we have the poor. I'm hopeful, but said we have maybe one midfielder. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We're in the top of the league. Look at this. Oh, I didn't forget. Everybody supports me. Nope. Oh yeah, Aware wants to leave. Oh, he's he's pissy now. He doesn't oppose me. He just has no opinion. And then the defender rolling. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Who knows what's gonna happen here? The drama, <laughs> managing a football team. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, keep moving forward.